Hello everyone, welcome to Hopeful Turns. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you the pattern for a crochet butterfly. Now this pattern here is a beginner level pattern and it's just made of two rounds. So it will work up really fast. And the best part is you just need some scrap yarns to make this butterfly. So if you have scraps lying around, you can just mix and match the colors and make a bunch of them very, very easily. Uh, you can use them as brooch or you can use them as hair clip. So here I have got one. I have attached a tic tac clip here so you can use them as hair clip uh, or you can just give them as quick crochet gift items. It just doesn't take much time and all you need is scrap yarns. Okay. So let's see the supplies first and then we'll head over to the pattern. Now to make this here, you can use any weight yarn. You just have to go with the recommended hook size. So here I have used some DK weight yarn. And with that, I have used a size G or a 4 mm crochet hook. Apart from that, you would require a pair of scissors and a yarn needle to weave in all the loose ends. So these are the supplies that you would require. Now if you are ready, we can get started. So we'll start this pattern with a slip knot. So make your slip knot first. And once you have your slip knot, make eight chain stitch. Chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So we are starting off with eight chain stitch. Now slip stitch into the very first chain stitch. So insert your hook into the first chain stitch and make a slip stitch. So for a slip stitch, just yarn over and pull your yarn through both the loops. So that will create a slip stitch. And if you see here, we have got a small circle. And for round one, we'll be working in the center of the circle. So let's start round one. And for that, we're going to start with three chain stitch. One, two, three. Now this three chain stitch here will be counted as a double crochet. Once you do this, make two double crochet into the circle. So make your first double crochet. This is one. I'll make one more double crochet into the circle. So for a double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull to the first two loops, yarn over, pull to the next two loops. So this is my second double crochet. Now, as I said, the first chain three will be counted as a double crochet. So now we have a total of three double crochet and this will be considered as a cluster. Once a cluster is made, follow it with two chain stitch. One, two and again make a cluster. So you are going to put three double crochet to make the next cluster. So like this, you will have to make a total of eight clusters for round one. So this is my second cluster. Okay, that is I have put three double crochet. Once this is made, Again, put two chain stitch and again make a cluster and you'll have to make eight cluster. We have made two so far. And once you're, when you're doing this, since you have to put eight, there might be a chance that uh, the space might not be enough. So once you make a cluster, try to push the clusters to a side so that you have space to put all the eight clusters. So here I'm making my third cluster. That is, I'm going to put three double crochet. This is one, two and three. So I have put three clusters and that completes my third cluster. Once this is made, a cluster is made, again put two chain stitch and then again put three double crochet. So like this, I'm just going to go ahead and repeat the pattern making a total of eight cluster. We have so far one, two, three. I'll put five more. and don't forget to make two chain stitch after making a cluster. I'll finish this and I'll join you at the end of round one. So here I'm at the end of round one and I have made a total of eight cluster. So if you see, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight cluster here. This is my last cluster. After this also, I'm going to put two chain stitch, one, two. And now to finish off this round, we'll slip stitch into the third chain of our chain three. So you see, this here is the first starting chain three. Find the third chain or the topmost chain here and you can slip stitch. So slip stitch into the third chain of your chain three. So that will finish off round one. You can cut your yarn here. Okay. So 
round one is done we'll move on to round two so for round two i'm going to take a yellow color yarn and again i'm going to start with a slip knot so you can make the slip knot the way you like so i've got my slip knot here now take your piece here you can attach it to any place that you want but make sure you're attaching it into the center or the middle double crochet so if you see this is one cluster find the center uh, stitch center double crochet so this one here in the middle the second one just insert your hook and first of all attach your new yarn so this is my center stitch I'll just attach it here like this now we'll be making six double crochet and we'll be making that in the chain two space here okay so we'll start here make six double crochet so one here is my second double crochet two three four five five and one more double crochet six so here I have put six double crochet into the chain two space so next what we have to do is we have to slip stitch into the center stitch center or the middle double crochet so the if you see here this right here is the stitch the one the first stitch will be quite hidden so you don't have to really struggle here you can you can just immediately find it out the second stitch just insert your hook there and slip stitch so that will make a first scalloped okay so what we'll be doing is we'll make a scalloped border in every chain two space and we'll be slip stitching into the center stitch or the center of the cluster with a slip stitch so that's what we are doing so here we have put six double crochet in the next chain two space make eight double crochet so just go ahead and make eight double crochet this is one two three four five six seven and we'll put one more eight okay so here i have put eight double crochets you have to put a slip stitch into the center stitch center double crochet so this here is the second one or the center one i'll go there and slip stitch so that will complete our second scallop next in the chain two space we are again going to put eight double crochet so here make eight double crochet one two three four five six seven and one more eight okay so here in this chain two space also i have done eight double crochet now slip stitch into the second stitch so that will complete our third scalloped now what you'll do is in the next two chain two space here as well as here you'll you're going to put six double crochet each so here you'll put six double crochet then slip stitch into the second stitch in the next one also you'll put six double crochet and then slip stitch into the center once that is done in the next two you're going to put eight double crochet so here again eight here again eight and in the very last space you're going to put six double crochet so you're, you're alternating between two sets of eight double crochet uh, and two sets of six double crochet so you just ignore it for the moment you have put eight double crochets in these two in the next two you put six double crochet then again in the next two eight double crochet and in the very last put six double crochet and every time you finish the double crochet set don't forget to slip stitch in the center double crochet set okay so i'll just complete that so here i'm at the end of round two and if you see it's quite jumbled up but don't worry we'll just shape it up in a minute uh, but before that i'll just um, explain the round two pattern if at all you have any confusion so if you see here we had started with six double crochet next two we had put eight double crochet then six double crochet 
then a double crochet and the last one six so we are just alternating between two sets of six double crochet and eight double crochet so we have just started with six double crochet and this ending is also six so this is again a set of uh, six double crochet okay so that is how the round two is okay so this was my last uh, set of six double crochet once this is done in order to finish off this round just slip stitch into the first stitch where we had started okay so where we had started with by joining the new color you just go there and slip stitch like this so this will finish off round two now in order to shape this I'm just going to take this off like this so these are my six double crochet these are my eight double crochet I'm just going to fold like this I'm just going to press it the eight double crochet like so and you can see it has got the shape of a butterfly so the six double crochets here we have on the bottom side opposite side also we have six double crochet here we have the eight double crochet so this is how you shape your butterfly now we'll make a small uh, chain once this is done I'll just attach my hook again and I'm going to make 10 double crochets so not double crochet so sorry 10 chain stitch so make 10 chain stitch 1 2 3 4 5 6 one second 6 7 8 9 10 okay so here you have got your 10 chain stitch next what you do is you take your 10 chain stitch here just fold this again properly now take this 10 chain stitch here and wrap it around like this attach your hook again okay and then slip stitch so hold these two together and using the two flaps both the sides you make a slip stitch so that will join both of it together like this okay so that is done you can cut your yarn off so cut it off and this is pretty much done now you can use your yarn needle to hide in this tail and all the other tail ends okay so here I have weaved in all the loose ends and our butterfly is ready now if you want you can add antennas to it so this is totally optional so if you are making one just take a small piece of yarn here and take this out through the chain 10 that we have made like this now at one end I'm just going to make a knot so make a small knot at one end I'll just clip off a little bit I don't need so much okay and then try to see how much you want and knot it down at the other end as well check the height how much long you want it to be and clip off the rest but before that so this is how it will be I'm just going to make a knot at the very center so that this stays in place okay so just clip off the excess and your antennas are also ready so there our butterfly is done now if you want you can just uh, add a safety pin or maybe a tic tac clip and make it as a hair clip it will look really pretty uh, or you can use it in some other projects of your choice so yeah that was a tutorial on how to do this crochet butterfly i hope you liked it i hope you enjoyed making it now if you liked it please do not forget to press on the like button and if you're new to my channel please do consider subscribing if you're looking for other crochet patterns i do have quite a few on my channel so i have put the links in the description box if you're interested do check that out that's it for today's tutorial see you in another video until then bye bye thank you for watching